Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Pinedo and it's Tech Talk time. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you what is the best way to digitally extract uh, videos from your old collection. Here I have, don't mind my mess, but um, old VHS tapes, mini DVs, uh, 8mm, hi eights. And my setup, and I'm going to explain why I use the current setup. The software I use is actually free. It's Movie Maker. But let's start why we use uh, digital extraction. <clears throat> this is a professional uh, JVC. It doesn't have to be this model. But um, this one takes uh, professional DVs to mini DVs and VHS, Super VHS, and VHS ETs. Now, what's important about this is I have it open to keep it cool, but you will also see, um, it should have the cover to protect from dust, but the head actually pulls the data, and right from the head, it's digitally extracted and processed. And the mini DV is the same way. Now, I have this camcorder, but this camcorder is actually a digital 8. It's a digital 8 camera. Uh, which actually the VCR in it digitally extracts video. Now the way we pull the data out of the tapes, we actually use the firewire. <clears throat> you don't want to use a capture card or an analog output because the color quality, you can lose that the capture quality um, it's very shaky <clears throat> like here I'll demonstrate this here is actually a a VHS tape extraction and uh, you might see some waves but that's simply because uh, my screen and my camera are capturing differently but um, the setup here is we go in through firewire and of course you want to hook up an external very large. This is a four terabyte. Everything's on a power strip hooked up to a battery because you don't want any surges to destroy your video. Now, this video here that we're watching is a uh, is actually um, from a VHS, and you can barely see any snow except down here. This is very common on a lot of the old VHS tapes because the screens were. A little bit rounder you never got the real bottom tops and and the sides but this is a pure extraction now nice thing about digital extraction also is with tapes are really really old and uh, degraded like this one here is actually my softball from 1985 and um, you can already see the, the color is kind of snowy because the tape was already old, but also the quality of the devices back then were not as sharp. But we don't have any line loss. We have no noise uh, uh, creation uh, from the lines. Everything that goes through a fire wire is, <clears throat> is totally straight digital, self-hosted. Now, uh, of course... Um, we have also uh, mini DVs, and uh, like this one's an eight millimeter extraction. Which is, which is very clear, coming out from the digital eight, which self converts. But um, of course, now when you work on these tapes, like these tapes, you have to be very careful because they actually snap the older they are. All these have already been digitized. Once you have it digitized, you can throw it away. This is the tools I use to repair the tapes. Now, remember your tools must not be magnet magnetized or you will erase and damage your tapes. Now, it's always good to have them in, in a special order and different formats. These have already been done. So, of course, these are ready for the garbage. And the editing is real simple, but here I'll show you real quick. We have a uh, <clears throat> a video already in here. We're gonna ready to capture. So simply, 
I use Movie Maker, which is free. Um, and for capturing, it's great. I'll go import from device. We see the device. Import. I'm going to do the uh, entire tape. I'll name it Party. Because at the end, I'm going to add it, clear the ends, but that's a, a whole other video. And um, once we're ready to go, you want to do the entire tape when it's an analog format. That's Hi8, uh, VHS, because they're not time coded. And what I mean about time coded is here, I'll, I'll give you a quick example. With time coding, uh, there's a lot of uh, timing format. So, like these here are actually DV, mini DVs. As you can see, it actually has the date. The the date of uh, when it was recorded, even, even though I digitized it recently. Now these, you're not going to see any snow because it's actually a digital video tape. Digital video tapes have no snow. Uh, the only problem is when the tape decays or snaps, then you start, um, you either lose the video completely. So it's always good. Once you digitize them, you can put them on a thumb drive and play it through your uh, smart TV through the USB or, or share it out from the hard drive. But now let's go back to creating that video. I'm going to put party import the whole video because it doesn't have timing so you're gonna have to manually turn it off hit next you can see it's gonna do the rewind automatically and there we go automatically just starts the player we can lower the volume here there we go and it's capturing into here and over here you'll see the size and this is the best way by using the FireWire, no external capture board, no analog outputs are being used. You're going to get the best video quality possible out of your tapes before they decay the most. Of course, sometimes it's hard um, to separate from these things, but once you have it in the hard drive, you can back them up three, four, five, six times, put it on the cloud, copy it onto a couple thumb drives give it to the family they're never going to degrade once they're digitized digital information doesn't degrade it just works or doesn't work so once you got your stack like these this is garbage this is garbage these are done these have to be repaired which i'll do that soon and uh i hope you found the tape informative and uh thank you for watching